In part one of this learning bite, we explained what an employer brand is and how to get started creating a successful employer branding strategy. In this video, we will cover the final seven steps in the process. Let's dive in. Hi, I'm Nelly and welcome back to part two of our 12-step guide to building a successful employer branding strategy. We covered steps one through five in part one, which you can find linked below. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification button and like this video. Now, let's continue where we left off with step number six. Select relevant metrics to track. Tracking and measuring the right metrics lets you know if you've achieved your goals from step four. You can base your metrics on the three key components of an employer brand. Awareness, attraction, and experience. Let's take a closer look. Awareness is about showing how visible your brand is as a result of marketing campaigns and other branding activities. The goal here is to figure out how many people know about your brand and what they think of it. To measure this, you can ask potential candidates or a specific target group if they're aware of your company. Use an open question like, what three companies seem like the most exciting to work for? Track the number of followers, impressions, likes, and shares of your social media channels. Attraction is about how attractive your brand is to candidates. You can measure two factors here. Applicant quantity. You can record the number of applicants you receive per week or month, responses per job opening, and the percentage of candidates who respond positively after being directly approached by your recruiters. Applicant quality. You can record the number of candidates who pass the screening of their resume or the increase in the average assessment scores. Experience is about how candidates experience your employer brand. You can measure this by tracking what you currently do well and where you can improve. You can do this based on reviews and ratings from employer review sites like Glassdoor and Indeed, or from employee referrals. With the right data, your next steps in the employer branding process will be easier and more effective. Choose the right channels and formats for promotion. Start promoting your organization as an employer on the right channels so that your message reaches your audience. This includes your careers page, social media channels like LinkedIn and Instagram, paid ads, blog posts, podcasts, and more. Here are two things you need to keep in mind. There's no one-size-fits-all solution. Which channels are right for you will depend on your target audience and ideal candidate persona. And make sure you stay on brand. Everything you post and share needs to be high quality and accurately reflect your employer brand. Showcase your company values and vision. The key to a powerful employer brand is to remain consistent in your messaging and communication. If you are clear on your vision as an organization, organization, it will be easier for you to communicate this through your official channels. Your employees can also use this for inspiration for what they share on their own social media. Without a clear vision, your messaging will be diluted and unclear. Be transparent. Transparency is crucial to building trust and loyalty with your audience. For example, during your recruitment process, be clear about who you are, the position you're recruiting for, and what it is you're looking for in a candidate. Use employee ambassadors. When it comes to understanding what it's like to work at an organization, candidates trust employees three times more than employers. You can use employee ambassadors to strengthen your employer brand by sharing employee testimonials on your website and encouraging employees to join in on social media every time your organization hosts a giveaway or does something worth celebrating. Monitor your progress. Decide at the beginning of your process what data you want to track, how you will collect it, how you will analyze it, and how you will report your findings to leaders and stakeholders. If you're a medium to large-sized business, you may already have access to tools, such as an applicant tracking system, an HRIS, or Google Analytics. Fine-tune your strategy. As you track your progress, you can see what's working well and what can be improved. Using this data, you will be able to see where you need to change your approach or how you need to redistribute your resources. Regularly tracking, measuring, and analyzing is the best way to see how successful your employer brand strategy is. While it may take some getting used to if you have limited experience with data and reporting, 
it will make the process simpler in the long run. You now know all 12 steps required to create an irresistible employer branding strategy. If you're looking for more ways to give your organization a competitive edge in the war for talent, check out the Data-Driven Talent Acquisition Guide, which you can download in the description below. In the meantime, don't forget to like our video, hit that notification bell and subscribe to our channel. See you soon for another Learning Byte. Bye!